Northrop Grumman is just about defining the impossible. We're trying to solve problems that we may see five to 10 years from now, and there's just no other better place to be able to do that type of work than Northrop Grumman. At Northrop Grumman, we're focused on national security missions, and we have a passion for that. So we are powered by the purpose of delivering solutions for national security. A lot of people look at Northrop Grumman as a company that makes airplanes and makes satellites. We also make microelectronics. Specifically, we're working on some really advanced superconducting electronic technology. And we like to say we're defining possible, and within the Northrop Grumman Microelectronics Center, we really are doing that with respect to the next generation of technologies. Customers will come in thinking a problem can't be solved or they have a challenge that can't be met. We define possible by delivering that solution. As we start to push towards the ends of Moore's Law, we have to think of new materials that we can work with to start building more complex circuits. One of the most exciting technologies I work on is developing diamond electronics. It's one of the next generation materials post gallium nitride. And what's really exciting is that we're finding very creative ways to be able to use these next generation materials for some of our next generation devices, circuits, and systems. The Microelectronics Center is a place where we design, build, and deliver all of the advanced microelectronic products that we need across all four sectors of the company. We can design and deliver the custom components that they need for their offerings. We cover the full life cycle of a microelectronic solution, starting with the customer's unique requirements, design, prototyping, building that initial first article product and then scaling that up through full scale production and delivering those millions of chips, we can cover the whole thing including the packaging, the dye production, the wafer production. As you think about the larger complex system, you have those little microelectronic devices within the system, but it needs to be packaged, and it needs to be able to withstand those very harsh environmental conditions. And understand that interplay between the materials, devices, circuits, the packaging, and the system. North of Grumman stands apart because we understand the system, and we understand the mission needs. We're making millions of chips, they're going into our deliveries and out into the field while at the same time we're doing research and development. So we're always innovating for what's next while delivering for what's now. You know the stuff that you're working on is a part of something bigger. And I think while maybe not consciously putting thought into that every day, there is always this innate drive in me to always have the best quality being delivered. Safety is always in the back of our minds on what direction we're pushing and how we need to start brainstorming what our obstacles are going to be before we get to them. That way we're already on the path of solving those problems. We are a national security company. When we build our products and deliver them to the customers, they really can't fail. You know, they're going into fighters, they're going into outer space. When they get launched and or sent into battle, they have to work every time. So that means that we have a very rigorous process for quality and, and when we deliver, we're certain it's gonna work every time. We have a culture that builds on the experience of our past, but also looks for the innovation that's coming from the, the new generation. You actually get to see what you do in real life in some of these experiences that you would have never expected. The first day walking in, you go on a tour and you see these massive machines and you think like this looks futuristic. There were so many great engineers, there were PhDs, there were people currently pursuing their masters and Northrop was helping pay for that. And I just was a sponge with those people. I just increased my knowledge base so quickly and it was fun and when we got challenges on our plate, it was a fun problem solving activity. Being able to foster innovation, technology, and solutions that helps drive our most critical defense needs is what really attracted me to Northrop Grumman. I consider myself a big microelectronics geek and a nerd, so I can sometimes just be able to watch something and just say like, hey, I understand how that puzzle piece ties together. After undergrad, I felt that I want to challenge myself a bit more and just be able to know I contributed to science. So I went to go pursue a doctorate in electrical and computer engineering. That was some of the best five years of my life, right? I felt like I just was able to make an impact. And that's essentially what was able to tie that work that I did in school to where I am now at Northrop Grumman. I've just been very grateful just to be able to have a lot of amazing mentors in my career. Being able to soak in that knowledge and pass it to the next generation is very important to me. When people have an idea, they can go right into our foundry, they can get into that research and environment and really invent anything they can dream of. I think that all of my friends know that I like my job way too much. I really enjoy the work that I get to do with the HAZMAT team. It's fun, it's exciting, and you know that it's helping make the facility safer. I get to like 
as silly as it sounds, use the scientific method every day to like actually design experiments that matter, that teach us things, that give us new information. If you come to work at Northrop Grumman, you're gonna be working at one of the best defense companies in the world. If you like working on microelectronics, we've been at it for 70 years. It's a core competency, and it's going to remain a core competency for the next 70 years. Research and development, production, any material, any part of the life cycle, you can do anything you want in microelectronics at Northrop Grumman. I feel a sense of pride. I feel like I have all these people in this room who just want to be able to hear 15 minutes of the work that I do. How can you not feel prideful of that? And I think that's what really drives me. When I swipe that badge, I'm realizing that, hey, I'm solving a complex problem today. I'm going home knowing that I contributed to science and contributed to greater humanity.